What's going on guys? My name is Airfaded and today I'm here to show you my 2016 Dodge Viper ACR Drag Tune. This is a tune that utilizes the stock V10 motor in the Viper, makes upwards of 1136 horsepower at 2787 pounds, and uh, yeah, it's just a really solid tune for you guys, and let's just hop right into it. Alright, so hopping on in here to conversion, like I said, we are going to be using the stock Viper V10, keeping it real wheel drive and adding twin turbos to it. Uh, and then aero and appearance wise, we will be removing the rear wing because the, uh, the Viper ACR comes with a massive rear wing that's good for the track if you're trying to go around a corner, but all that is just massive drag on a drag car and you don't want that. Uh, tire compound, obviously we're going to be going drag tires. Front tire width stays uh, just how it is, and rear tire width, you can upgrade that to 365s, which is pretty big for a, uh, a drag tire, so that's pretty nice. Uh, front track width and rear track width all the way out, and wheels wise, you can go with whatever wheels you would like. I just kept the, the, uh, the stock Viper ACR rims because they're pretty light as it comes already, and uh, I just think they look good on the car but that's all up to you personal preference wise clutch you got the race clutch the race transmission race drive line and then the drift differential which allows you to shift just a little bit faster than the race differential does a little fun fact um rally springs uh, front and rear anti roll bars all the way upgraded and then full race weight reduction and then hopping over to the engine just quickly go through it but uh, it's fully built just go ahead and upgrade every single thing in the engine and when you do that you will be sitting at around uh, 1137 horsepower I believe 36 I was one number off um, but yeah everything fully upgraded in the engine and yeah 1136 and depending on what wheels you chose you chose uh, it'll be around 2787 uh, and yeah that's about it for the build so let's take this thing out to the track and get this tuned for you guys Alright, so now we're at the track, let's dive into the tune here. So front tire pressure uh, all the way at, well not all the way, but you're leaving it at 30. Um, rear is going to be at 15. Uh, and then gearing wise, this is what you'll really want to pay attention to. 220 final drive, 354 first gear, uh, 237, 178, 134, 102, and then 80. Uh, you'll really only be using four gears on this tune. Um, but, you know, if you have to go to 5th, 6th, it'll hold up if you're doing some highway racing or whatever. Uh, Alignment-wise, I got 0.1 in the front, just a very minuscule amount, but just a, a little extra. Uh, and then zeros all the way down, and 7 on the front caster angle. Uh, front and rear anti-roll bars all the way stiff at 65. And then the springs, we got front all the way soft, and the rear at about 507. Uh, and then all the way... Uh, ride height for the front and rear. Uh, rebound stiffness, we got uh, 1 in the front and 10.1 in the rear, as well as 20 and 20 on the front and rear bump stiffness. No arrow, braking force you can leave alone because um, you can do uh, you know reverse burnouts pretty easily just without having to adjust this. Uh, and then differential, we'll go ahead and put that at 100 and 100. And that will do it for the tune. So let's break this thing out and see how it launches. Um, so all you have to do, if you don't know how to launch in Forza, Hi Forza Horizon 5, just hold down the uh, the brake and throttle, basically, and it'll hold you at uh, around 20. It kind of varies between the car, but under 3,000 RPMs, essentially. And then uh, you just go ahead and release. So it's geared, like you can see, to just go about the uh, the whole, I think this is a 0.6 mile this track is. Um, so if you're racing at the uh, the drag strip, the, the drag strip um, this will be good for you. But 
yeah, it's a pretty solid tune. We're going to launch it for you guys one more time just so you can kind of see it from the side. It's a lot of power to, uh, to take on these wheels, so, um, you know, it doesn't launch as hard as you might want it to, but uh, it launches about as hard as you can get it, so. And it's pretty instant. Uh, it's one of, my, one of my few cars that doesn't actually wheelie on the, uh, as soon as you launch, but that's okay because it just holds all the power uh, pretty well right in the uh, this rear suspension and yeah it just gets up and goes so uh, pretty solid build for you guys I'm going to show you uh, what it does to the quarter mile for those of you who don't know uh, you can set your marker down to the speed trap at the end and then line up 440 yards away from it and that will be the quarter mile and so yeah let's uh, reverse back into it oh 339 there we go 340 all right so let's uh, give this thing a launch and see what it does to the quarter mile. So uh, there you have it. That is uh, the quarter mile time for you guys. And that's the build, pretty much. So uh, be sure to give this a shot. I think it's a pretty solid build. It's also good for roll racing. Um, if you wanted to do like a, uh, a 40 roll, basically you have a lot of first gear to, to use, so it's a lot better to launch out of first gear if you're doing a, a 40 roll, but yeah, so doing a lot of roll racing recently, so always fun to kind of have the cars tuned for that as well, but yeah, it's up to you guys kind of how do you want to, uh, to use this thing, but if you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like, maybe subscribe, and uh, leave a comment on the uh, you know, some other cards you'd like to see drag tuned. But uh, yeah, that'll be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.